Good morning, Facebook Live. How's it going? If you are tuning in with us at 6.30 a.m., go ahead and comment below your name and where you're tuning in from. Can you make sure it's going? Because I'm not really hungry again. Good? Yeah. Cool. All right. Awesome. Well, we are in day 12 of 21 days of prayer, and it has been an awesome time. Can you pull the Devo, please? Yeah. And Gold Conference is in seven days. A week from today, we're going to have hundreds of middle school, high school, and college students coming to the Life Church of Manassas from churches all over the region to get their conference on. It's going to be awesome. We have pastors like Pastor Carl Lentz, who is Justin Bieber's pastor. We have Pastor John Gray, the one, the only, and Pastor John Morgan, Pastor Josh Baird, and Brittany Baird, and it's going to be awesome. So if you haven't registered, go right now to goldstudents.com and register. If you know any student that needs to register, get them to register because it's going to fill up really fast. So yesterday, Josh had an amazing idea for a jingle. A Josh, Josh and Jessica jingle Jess. for this. Just Jess. Oh, just Jessica's Jess. Jessica's too much. Just Jess. Yes. For this whole Facebook Live thing. So we got some creative ideas. And I uh, will, should we give him credit or keep him anonymous? What do you think? That's kind of rude not to give credit. <laughs> Are the jingles there? The j oh, we're gonna play the jingles. Yes. Well, JJ took this idea and ran with it, and he gave us a couple of suggestions. So we'll play it for you, and we'll see. We'll take a vote. We'll take a vote because I have my personal favorite. I think <laughs> me and you like the same one. Really? Uh, the well, I can't. We can't ruin it because then. It's got to be anonymous, right? Alright. So, let's see. You ready? I'm going to put it by the mic this and hopefully you guys can First hear it. All, um, it's not an option. We promise we'll get to praying this. after this. I mean, this is to wake us up as well. <laughs> we're Which like, is not fun, right? We're like dying. Yeah, it's thank God like, it's Friday because I, I want to sleep in tomorrow. And our sleeping is in, in it is like 7 tomorrow. Yeah, but, but still. Okay. You ready? It's really close. It'll pick up. Oh god, the volume's down. This is what I'm, this is my idea. Tell me what you think. It would go, Hi, my name is Josh. My name is Jeff. My name is Chicka Chicka Sing Baby. Hi, <laughs> my name, and it'll kind of repeat for a little bit. And I, I think that would be just a cool one. Uh, second, I, second idea is like the Barney theme song. And I'd have to work on the lyrics a little bit, so it might take me a little bit to get these. But it would start off with, Josh and Jess have come to town, coming after Jesus. And then, yeah, I'd have to think of more words. That was the first thing. Yeah. So. <laughs> a fan favorite. <laughs> so it's either Barney or <laughs> Slim Shady. But Sing Shady. Because that's our last But Sing Shady is <laughs> I'm dying. That's so funny. So, vote on your favorite theme song for this Facebook Live situation. We only have one more week, and then it's over. And then it's, it's, and then it's over. It's not over. We'll figure out something. It's not we're, over. we're in the works. It's in the works. <clears throat> but we won't make promises yet. Because um, yeah, this is early. Just, and 21 days of it is probably enough. Yeah, just stay tuned for that announcement. That unveiling. You're, you're already promising way too much. Big like, we're up this early anyway. Well, I'm up this uh, early anyways to get to work, but... Jenny, I'm with you. <laughs> Gosh. But anyways, it's just, it's hard. So we'll see. 21 days, we got one more week. So, all right. Let's get to our devotional for the day. Whew. We need it. Yeah. All right. So today is Friday. Thank the Lord from above. And so, the Daily Devo for the day. Friday. Today, all evil plots are exposed. What? 
And I will live under divine protection. Amen. Hey, yo. Today, all evil plots are exposed, and I will live under divine protection. Amen. I receive that. You receive that? It's a declaration I receive. I mean, it sucks to be the person that's plotting against you. Right. They're about to be exposed. <laughs> right. Hey, yo. So, um, um, well, no, let's do the prayers now. You're just quick to go to that. Okay, we are going to not pray for that. We're gonna pray for. Right, but just explain that wasn't a prayer request that she said. We're not gonna pray. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just disregard. I oh. sent a. <laughs> oh, the personal text between me and Jess. Okay. Um, uh, oh, man, now you're making things all sketchy. Well, it wasn't a personal text between me and you. I don't know, moving on. Okay, so... It wasn't anything <laughs> prayer-related. Right. Say. But, like, okay, I send him, convert, like, the screenshot so that, because my phone is being Facebook Live, so every prayer request I get, I send to him in the morning. So I accidentally sent the wrong thing, and that's what we're talking about. Okay, moving on. All right, so we're going to pray for Monique this morning. Um, the wedding went well, so that's a praise yes, report. And we uh, prayed for her yesterday because she became an ordained minister, and did a wedding. Go Monique. Went really well. So she wants prayer now for someone from the church to guide her when ministry and of marriage and business. Um, and then she also needs prayer for a small group to grow because she does a book club for women. So that's awesome. Small groups. Small groups are launching uh, the first week of September. So the third. Yeah, um, so we believe that when you come in, when you come in contact with Jesus, like your world can change and instant, like it's so, um, you're saved. But to walk into freedom, purpose, and fulfillment, it takes a lot, it takes some work, and we are a body of Christ for a reason, and we need each other, and isolation is not from God. So we believe that real life change happens in the context of small groups, so in the context of relationships. So to build these relationships, I really think a good uh, avenue for that is small groups. So we're launching a big campus-wide small group. I mean, they're in the totally free market. Like I heard uh, Pastor Sean Baird out in Winchester. He said he's starting a small group. It's a shooting small group. Like how cool is that? Mm -hmm. You need to add one spiritual component, and that could be prayer, and you can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. You're already grouping with people. You're already doing things that are fun and that you love to do, and you're doing it with the people that you love. So why not just slap a prayer on it and call it a small group? So We're small grouping right now. We're small grouping right now hey. because we're, we're grouping with some peeps that we like uh, yeah, hanging out with. Yeah, spiritual like, component. Heck yeah. So And then he's also doing one, uh, I think he said the three Bs. It's like bacon... Be careful. Bacon. Everyone loves bacon. I know, but I can't remember the other two because I love bacon so much. So I got so focused and hyped up about bacon. I can't remember what the other two is. Bullets, maybe? Maybe bacon, breakfast, I don't know. I can't, <laughs> I can't remember. But he talked about going to Cracker Barrel, so that's why I'm thinking it's breakfast. Because they talked about the hash brown casserole at Cracker Barrel, and I love the hash brown casserole at Cracker Barrel. I'm not really a huge fan of Cracker Barrel. Whoa. So well, that's not a small group for him. I mean, then you just have to, like, start your own. Right. What are you thinking? Where? Man, a lot of good breakfast places. It doesn't I, have I, to be breakfast, but, like, Chick-fil-A? what? No, no, I'm talking about Sometimes a small McDonald's. group. McDonald's? <laughs> like, there's a lot of good Josh, breakfast places no. out there. Like, what small group would you launch if you could launch anything? An eating small group. <laughs> are you hungry? <laughs> I mean, I miss breakfast. But, an eating small group, that just came to me. That would be an amazing small Where group. Where would you eat? Everywhere, like you know, you, you know how try like, different restaurants. You know how like there's so many foodies out there. Yeah, you know? bring all the foodies together. And right. You're like, yo, heard about the block. Yo, props to the block. That's my new place. Shout out to um, the block. It's yep. really good. It's an Down Anandale. In Anandale. You need to go as mm-hmm. soon as possible. It's like the coolest thing I've ever experienced. Yeah. It's Yelp an experience. That review. Um, we need to review that. Okay. Uh, so the block <laughs> would be like one. But like, We're you so know, distracted. We have to pray right now. But you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, that, no, that's cool. All right, we'll consider it. And you gotta pray before you eat, so bam, boom. Huh? Wow. Thank you, ma'am. Josh. Boom, bam. You are. Small group leader, I know. A small group leader at heart, and you're really good at this. Like, you're a natural. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Josh okay. Josh sing in the morning. Josh and sing. <laughs> I just did my name. It's your own jingle for your small group. Okay. 
Oh gosh, you moved the oh, Facebook Live. Go, you go finish. Check her. <laughs> no, you go check it. I am praying. Okay. All right. So for, for Monique, she needs prayer for someone to guide her through uh, what ministry of marriage and business look like, and then also pray for her small group. And that's how we got on that tangent. So, okay, Father God, thank you so much for Monique. Thank you that you ordained this wedding and that you brought this covenant together, God, and I just thank you for it. I pray right now that you continue to bless her business, bless this um, this area of her life, this ministry that you're launching her into, and I, I just declare right now tons of blessings and provision and that the people that she touches will uh, go out and touch others and bless them in amazing ways. God, I pray for her small group, her book club for women as she launches the small group um, or continues it going, that she just continues to pour into uh, other women the way that you would and uh, helps navigate this the growth that these women need. And I pray that uh, change continues to happen, growth continues to happen, and love just continues to happen. Help build these relationships stronger than ever so that if any trial comes up against them, they will know that they have each other and that we can be the body of Christ by coming together and meeting um, and getting to know one another and just lifting each other up, encouraging one another. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I just forgot, we have another jingle. There were three that were sent to us. So we probably should... We'll just wait till the end. It's so the... funny. It's probably my favorite and it's going to be a fan favorite. But yeah, we need to do that. Okay. Um, well, I messed up and I didn't send you the other one. So whoever it was, I'm sorry. And we will pray for you um, in a different way. Let's see. Let's pray. So as she's looking through this, the other prayer request that we received this week was um, from Becca Haas. She's going into her senior year at Radford and so she's just asking for um the just it's a neat good good smooth year so we're praying into that then we have Melanie uh Warner who is who got a new, a new job with a real estate company and so she's on this new team and she's excited but also that all comes with just the uncertainties of uh being on this team and the what bonuses and different things that they yeah yeah that the de the deadlines for specifically that's what she uh, pointed out mm -hmm. and so we're just praying for that uh, for just peace over that situation and then we have Sheila who with her um, lifted up her daughter who just um, got in a breakup with her boyfriend I don't know if and, it's breakup but she got her heart broken so whatever that means it could be super broad but just like ouch, oh oh okay. sorry well no. a heart broke heart broke heart broke <laughs> heart broke uh, okay we'll and then my man that. JJ who came up with the jingles. Uh, for his work situation, um, and then Greg with um, praying for the for this nation with racism, and um, I think I covered all the, all the past ones, right? Yeah. Check Facebook Live right now on this phone to see if anyone put in any um, okay. requests, and then I can just go into praying for those. So, Father God, I just lift up Becca. I lift up um, Sheila's daughter, uh, JJ, Greg. Um, Hold on, I see. I just lift up all these needs to you right now. And Lord, I just pray for Becca as she goes into school, as she's entering this new chapter in her life, um, that you just continue to, and Melanie, and that you just continue to just um, open her mind to just receive all the... <clears throat> all the things that you have for, in store for her, Lord. I pray that as she goes on campus, that she is the light, that she breaks down um, before her path any strongholds that are that are hindering her from reaching her full potential, Father. And so I just pray right now that you just continue to cover her under your precious blood. I pray right now that as she goes into the theater department, that as she goes into her circle of friends, Lord, that they see a difference in her, especially this semester. And they see and they gravitate towards her love and to her kindness. And so I just pray that she just exudes your presence, Lord, on that campus, Lord. Bring light into the darkness of that campus, Lord. And so I just thank you. I pray right now that academically she's able to succeed, Lord, that she graduates in, 
It's a smooth semester, Lord. I just pray for Melanie, Lord, as she is entering into this new uh, job, this new team, with all the deadlines and the requirements that it has, Lord, that the worriness, the anxiousness, Lord, I command it to flee in the name of Jesus. Yes. I pray right now that you have provided, you have given her this provision. And so, Lord, we thank you for the provision. And, Lord, we you won't put her in this um, new place, in this new job to not succeed. And so we thank you for what you're going to do, what you're going to provide in her life and her family's <laughs> life, Lord. And so, JJ, with his work situation, all the stress, all the burdens of that Lord we give it to you right now you make a way where there seems to be no way in the name of Jesus and so Lord I thank you for JJ I pray right now that he sees um, that you're fulfilling promises in this in this time in his life in this circumstance Lord and Father Sheila as she brought brought her daughter up Lord whatever the broken heart is Lord whatever the the Whatever it may be, you know the internal need, you know what's happening. And so, Lord, I pray that you that you just continue to mend that broken heart, Lord. You show her daughter love. You show her daughter the peace, the supernatural peace that you just have. And, Lord, just <coughs> overwhelm her with joy even in this moment, Lord. Touch each one of these needs, Lord. And I just pray right now for the need that Greg brought for this nation to just stop racism, Lord. Lord, we stand in the gap yeah. for any division. And we ask right now for your divine protection over this world right now. Let hate be superseded by your love. And Lord, I just pray right now for this nation. I pray right now for us, for our minds, Lord, that if it's tainted, that our upbringings, whatever it may be that makes us act this way, let us reset and align our minds to focus on you and how you love your people, Lord. And Lord, just continue to use us and guide us in every situation, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. I pray right now that as we continue to pray, that you open our minds, Lord. Give us names of people um, that you plant names in our hearts of who you want us to pray for. And so, Father, I pray right now that every distraction that we may have or whatever it may be, I pray that it goes in the name of Jesus and let us focus on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Awesome. Okay, well, let's spend the last, like, 10-ish minutes on, because um, we always go over 10-ish, 10 minutes um, on the targets that we want to hit and specifically gold conference because it's a week out and mm -hmm. we want to lift that com that student conference up to God. So so we have souls, mm -hmm. we have revival, mm -hmm. and then we have youth revival. Those are our three target areas and so um, what do you want? You want to do all three or you want to? We can, but before that, do you want to do your, do you have an inspirational corner for us or... <laughs> Put me on the spot here. Um, I mean, we could pray, and if God gives you something, yeah, an inspirational corner, and then you can give it. Yeah, we can do that. But um, as we're praying, if you guys feel anything within your heart, any kind of um, prayer request, any any kind of thought or something like that, just comment below, um, just so we can kind of get that um, ball rolling for sure, and just give us um, new prayer requests to pray over. That's always great. And so, um, let's just jump right into it, okay. and then if anything happens, we can just stop. I mean, it's really informal. Okay, let's go. All right, Father God, I just lift up your nation to you right now, your world to you, God. I pray that you continue to, as you're guiding us, God, help us focus on you. Uh, let us get all distraction out so that we can completely, solely submit to you and lay our life down so that you can use us in the way that you cl that you have destined to use us. God, I know that we can't lose our destiny. There's nothing that we can do to stop the purpose and the plan that you have for our life. But God, we can prolong it and, and make this process worse on ourselves than it actually needs to be. Because God, you want for us to, to have abundance and provision. And um, you, want, you came to give us life and to life more abundantly. And I just declare right now that we get that, that fresh revelation today, that we understand that you're not against us. You're not going to leave us, but you're always with us. You're always for us. And there's nothing that we can do to lose our salvation. So God, I thank you so much for that. I, <coughs> I thank you for your son. I thank you for what he did on the cross so that we can live. And as he um, takes all of our the weight of our sin, that he, as he was the total and complete sacrifice for us, that God, we get to live on earth as it is in heaven. And I, I just declare that right now over every single life, over this world, that it will be on earth as it is in heaven. 
and um, I thank you so much for providing for us in every way today and uh, yesterday and tomorrow. I know that as we uh, take on today that you only give a, you only allow 24 hours worth of um, things that we can handle and you wouldn't give us more than we can bear God so if we feel crushed right now if our spirit is crushed please renew it right now renew our minds renew our, yes, our thoughts Jesus. and renew our the words that we're speaking God I just choose as an act of my will to loose all darkness from our soul and we send it to the pit of hell anything that has come into into our soul and it's not of you that is not supposed to be there. We rebuke it and we loose it from our soul right now. You say what is loosed on earth will be loosed in heaven and what is bound on earth will be bound in heaven. So God, I just, I loose anything that is not of you from our souls. Anything that's been said to us about us, any words of death, we loose it right now <clears throat> and we send it to the pit of hell. Anything that's um, entrapping our voices to keep us quiet, to keep us from praying, we loose it right now from our soul and we take authority over it and we send it to the driest pit. Father, I choose as an act of our will to bind your grace to our soul, to bind your love, your light, and your life, your, your righteousness, and your self-discipline. God, the joy that you have for us, we bind it to our soul. Just bind all of, the, all of your goodness and um, the fruit of the Spirit, God. I pray right now that we take authority and we realize who we belong to. We realize whose we are and that <clears throat> we don't have to participate or tolerate any darkness on this planet. We don't have, we don't have to. <clears throat> we can take authority over it and we can rebuke it and we can stand in the gap and stand with Jesus because he already died so that we can have um, a better life, so that we can live in victory and from a posture of victory. So I pray that we get that today, that we get that revelation. Father God, I thank you for healing us. If um, there's a healing that needs to happen spiritually, physically, emotionally, God, whatever that healing is, I know that you have it already claimed, already planned out. You know when you're going to heal us. So we believe in your power and it's our faith that will heal us. So we have faith in you, God, and just renew our faith. Let it be stronger than ever. Continue to show us signs and wonders and testimonies to renew our faith in every way. God, give us discernment for the words to say. Give us peace. Um, and God, I pray that you continue to help us see you. Open our eyes to see you. Open our ears to hear you. And open our hearts to feel you, God. And I just declare over this nation right now that we will become one body again. That we will not stand in judgment because as we're one body, we're not judging our arm, we're not um, criticizing our foot, but God, we are accepting of our body, that we're not giving into the lie, the deception, that division is how we need to live on this earth. And I just declare right now that more unity um, will be known and will be, will be known for our love that we have, our acceptance that we have. Uh, the grace that covers, God, you give out your grace abundantly. You give out forgiveness abundantly. So I pray that if there's anything that's hindering us from getting all of your blessings or hearing from you, Lord, just loose it right now um, and send it to the pit of hell so that we can receive the word that you have, the truth that you have, um, the revelation that you have. God, I pray all of these things and I just lift it up to you. And I know that you're moving in the heavenly realms, but God, you are with us. You are so with us and I pray that we get that today that even as we're looking at nature that uh, whatever it is if there's a divi divine appointment that comes up that we're not too busy to stop and talk to the person that you want us to and I declare that more people will talk about your truth and the gospel on a day-to-day -day basis than ever before that evangelism will just catch like fire and more people will come into your kingdom because the boldness and the courage that we as Christians have that we start to have that it comes from you so that more and more of your children can come home to you so God I pray that we continue to partner with heaven partner with you as we help with that area God I just declare revival over this nation revival over this world um, especially in the youth whether it's uh, elementary school middle school high school college homeschool wherever it is I declare uh, total revival in our youth right now in the name of Jesus and Awaken them, God. Awaken us so that we can <clears throat> we can talk about you more freely in our schools, um, in our workplace, wherever it is, God. Because you are the truth and the light and the life. And I just I pray against any deception that tells us otherwise. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood over this nation. I plead the blood over this world. 
And I just declare that healing is going to come to our land right now in the name of Jesus. Let us declare and decree on earth as it is in heaven, your will and your way, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo. All right. You're not going to add to that? Okay. Uh, no. Oh, we got five more minutes? Okay. Five more minutes. Well, um... Oh, let's go into Gold Conference. So you just pray, because Gold Conference is in seven days. It's mm -hmm. a week from today. Um, why don't you just start praying, and then I'll finish if there's more. Mm -hmm. But inspirational thought. Oh, it came to you? It came to me. Yes. It just came to me because... Josh's inspirational corner. Oh, Here it goes. We need a jingle for this. Oh, gosh. But anyhow. A jingle. Um, so you might notice, like, me and Jess, when we pray, we say a lot of declaring and declarations. And um, it's very... It's very demanding, or it's like, you may be like, oh, dang, all right, they're confident. But yeah, heck yeah, we're confident, because we serve a God with just immeasurable, like, just everything that can do the impossible. But what the de declaration does is, it's, we're declaring life over the situation. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a declaration <laughs> where you're, where you're having faith that it can be done. Yeah. Because why are we going to pray for something if we didn't think it can be done, right? So we're 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 saying, God, just do this. We trust in you. We believe in you. But what I want to caveat from it is saying, when you declare things, start declaring things over your life. This is one thing that actually Jess taught me um, early on in our relationship, and um, she put the word declaration over it. I've always done something different where I'd be like, All right, Lord, help me, work through me, da da da. But hers was kind of like a pep talk. When you're driving to work or you're doing something and you, you, you declare things over your life. So you say, you know what? I declare that today is going to be a great day. I declare that I'm going to go in the office and make a difference. I declare that the hour meeting that I don't want to go to will be the best meeting that I have. I declare that I'm going to eat healthy today. I declare that I'm going to make good relationships. I declare that when I come home, I'm going to have um, a great time with my spouse. I declare that my kids are going to be there. You just declare all these things, all the worries that you kind of have throughout the day or what's going on in your mind. Turn the anxiety into declarations mm -hmm. and watch that as you put positive things over all your anxiousness and make a declaration out of it. See how God's going to change that and make it an actual positive thing in your life. What you're worrying about can become something that you're praising about. Mm -hmm. That's a oh, quote right God, there. It's for we. Hey. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, so try that. I challenge you guys today that as you're going wherever you're going today, it could be school, it could be work, it could be to the grocery store, it could be to church, it could be wherever. And when you're driving, turn on the music for a little bit and just start declaring. Just say, I declare that I'm going to be happy in this traffic. Whew. I declare that as I go to the grocery store, I'm going to put a smile on my face. I declare that I'm going to walk into someone that needs a touch and I'm going to be there for that person. I declare that my neighbor is going to see me and see a difference in me today. I declare um, financial peace. I declare blessings. I declare that I'm going to pay this bill today. I declare that you're going to provide in so many ways. There's so many declarations. Just, just take one, take five, and do it over and you're going to see how God is going to move in those declarations and move in your life. And so, um, we'll just, so yeah. with that, just, you want to add well, to that? Well, yeah, add to that. It's, it's not just like a positive self-help pep talk that you're doing. You are speaking the word of God over your life, which holds weight. It holds value. It, it is complete truth. And it, the word says that God's word will not return void. So what you're doing, you're speaking into your circumstances and your circumstances have to catch up to what you're saying. So even if it looks impossible, even if it's stressing you out, it's giving you anxiety, depression, whatever it is, speak into it. And it may look impossible, but if you start, if you're saying the things that are negative and because we're, we all get negative, but don't let yourself stay there mm -hmm. because if you're saying it, it, it is going to stay negative. There's nothing that can happen but what you're saying. So if that's what's happening with the words of death, the words of life is going to replace that. It's the truth of God and it will not return void. So make sure you're giving out life and you're giving out uh, truth because you don't want that anything that's coming back to you uh, be anything but truth and life. 
Um, so just adding on to that is right. like you're totally declaring it and it sounds crazy, but I like, I'll do it in the mirror, yeah. whatever you need to do to just like, it, there's so much psychology that's behind it. There's so much science that's behind it. I'll go into that in like a month or two, but it's, it's bigger than that. And it's, it's totally God. And you, you belong to the creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. So if you're struggling with something right now that like, say it's finances, he holds every finance in his hand. It belongs to him. He created it. So if your father loves you more than your earthly father, if, if your father has like half the love than or anyone on earth does, then why wouldn't he want to bless you? Why would he not want to give back to you if it's um, to live in life and to live abundantly? So mm -hmm. I hope that encourages yeah, you and at all. It, and also by doing the declarations, it's it's one of those things where a lot of people will come to us, uh, me specifically, and be like, I don't know how to pray. Like, what's my next step? Yeah, we can go into the five petitions of pray for protection, pray for plan, pray for this, that, and the other. But what I've noticed is once I... Um, start doing this once you start declaring things over your life you're it's gonna come into a prayer because then what's gonna happen is when you start declaring you're gonna see all the things that you start to have because your mind's gonna shift mm -hmm. from being negative and seeing what you don't have to what you have and then you're gonna start thanking God for everything he's doing thank you God for this car that I'm able to get to work thank you God that I have a job yes it may not be the best job but you're using me in this job right. thank you for the circle of friends I have thank right. you for the family that you've given me because I have an opportunity to witness to them I have an opportunity to show them where they're wrong but I'm not gonna we're not going to prove where they're wrong, but I'm going to show them grace just as you've given me grace because I declare grace over my life. I declare peace over my life. So it turns into a prayer. See, like just like that, it can go into like, the next. And so the, so any anxiety and Jordan, thanks for sharing that. Jordan, with I us. do remember you from yes. Freedom Conference. I even like in my prayer journal, I've, I've been praying for you. So I hope you're doing well. And if you need prayer for anything else, we're going to pray. We're going to lift you up in prayer yeah. as well. So we'll touch in this last closing kind of prayer before gold. So gold got kind of pushed back, but we'll get it. But we'll pray for anxiety. We'll pray <laughs> for the declarations. We're going to declare things over you guys right now. We're going into the weekend. So whatever that may be, hold, whatever holds on that, whatever worry you guys may have, we're going to just give it to God right now. And so um, with gold, we'll, we'll kind of do a dual prayer. So gold, as just... Um, said in the beginning it's august 25th to 26th uh registration is still open mm -hmm. gold students dot we love church dot we love church dot com slash gold students we'll put all the information in the, anyway. in the comments yeah. below but uh it's gonna be a great conference for uh students 12 to 25 and uh so we're just expecting into that so Let's let's pray. Let's pray. Let's let's declare. <laughs> Come on. Uh, so, Father God, I just pray first and foremost for the Gold Conference. I pray right now that as um, we're getting registrations in, I pray that this conference is going to be a life changing experience yes, for these students. Lord, I pray right now for each speaker, each leader that is there that is involved in this conference. I pray that you give them wisdom. Yes, I pray that Lord. you give them a supernatural um, a mindset. To just as they open the doors, the students are going to feel welcome. Yes. These students are going to feel a difference. They're going to feel something tingling in their hearts right now, and that's going to take them to the next step. Going to take them to their to their calling. And so, Father, I just continue to pray into the gold. I pray right now that if there's any hesitation, if someone should be in the gold, that today makes a shift in their life right now. That they say, "I'm just going to do it," because they're going to walk on a step of faith, and they're going to be touched in the name of Jesus. And so, I pray right now for everyone that is watching. Watching. I pray right now for everyone that is going to be watching this video that whatever they're dealing with right now, I plead the blood over that yes, situation, Father. whether it be anxiety, whether it be sickness, whether it be uh, suicidal thoughts, mm -hmm. whether it be uh, financial stress, whether it be um, family stress, family worries, friends worries, whatever the situation may be, you say to cast your cares on me and I will take the rest. So Lord, we do that. We declare your peace over situations. We declare your grace over circumstances. We declare your love. We declare your joy. We declare your comfort. We declare that whatever we do today, whatever we set out and do, we declare that we're going to go before, you're going to go before us and you're going to break down any strongholds, any yes, chains God. that is in our way in the name of Jesus. We declare that you're going to make special appointments divine appointments today we declare right now that we're going to be a blessing for others as people are blessings for us 
We thank you for everything that you have done in our lives. We thank you for everything you're going to do in our lives. And we just thank you for wrapping your love around us even now, Father. And Lord, just continue to meet us at our needs, Lord. As me and Jess stand in the gap between those needs, Lord, we just continue to pray blessings over each and every one of you. And Lord, we just thank you for the opportunity that we have to be able to pray for the needs of your children. And so we pray right now that you continue to touch and continue to use and continue to bless with abundance in jesus name amen, amen. awesome well amen. we will be back for 6 30 a.m prayer on facebook live on monday morning it'll be our last week of 21 days of prayer and tomorrow is prayer at church so any life church campus uh warrington winchester Bristow, Manassas, the, the SAS. We'll be at Manassas at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning praying as a church. So if you go to our church, if you don't go to our church, come join us for prayer. It is the secret sauce to everything that God is going to do and wants to do in your life. So 9, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then Sunday we have 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. services. Come to any campus. We'll see you there. That's if right. not, we'll be back Monday morning, 6 a.m. And they do do... <laughs> they do Facebook Live um, at one of the campuses on Sunday, so follow. Oh, yeah, um, or go to welovechurch.com, and um, all of the sermons will be online as well. So right. if you can't get to church, we'll come to you. There you go. Yeah. Um, we'll have a great day, guys. We'll see you Monday at Happy 6 30. Happy Friday!